trying to get this camera to focus man hi guys welcome back to another video this one is very unplanned kind of impromptu i'm on a bit of a roll so i thought i'll carry on and film another one um so i thought i'd have a little chat about my journey to the past no Ugh, oh, Anastasia, man, not a good show. Um, seriously, I thought I would chat about my journey to drama school and sort of how I got here. I've just turned 25. I'm somewhat late to the game, although can you ever be late to this game? So where do we start? Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Oh my God, I need to stop with these musical quotes. I'm so sorry. So... I started acting when I was eight. I did a school play. I was in a production of Rats, the Pied Piper musical, where I played the crippled boy. And so begins a tradition of my life, playing young, mostly injured boys. So in that play, I started you know, figuring out that I really, really loved it. Um, I then went to Stagecoach, um, and I stayed at Stagecoach until I was 16. I then went to Hurtwood House, which is a boarding school sixth form that specialises in creative arts, like media studies, music, and theatre. It does a lot of other subjects as well, but those are sort of the main focus, and for a lot of people, the reason that they choose to go to Hurtwood. So while I was there, I did media studies A-level, theatre studies A-level, and sociology and I loved it. It was the best two years of my life. I I could go off on a whole tangent rant about how great Hurtwood is and how much I love it and how much I wish I could go back to 2010 to 2012 and do it all over again, but we're here, I can't. Um, so while I was at Hurtwood, I was in every show I could be in. We did concerts every year. We did a big, uh, a big show every Christmas. We did um, a Christmas Carol. My second year we did Les Mis. We also did a summer show where again I played a child. Surprise, surprise. I also played Young Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. And then I played um, an urchin in Les Mis. Like, story of my life. Okay, you're catching the, the trend right now. I then knew I wanted to go to drama school. I was auditioning for BA three year courses and I didn't get in. I was not ready and not prepared for a three year intensive drama school course and thank God I didn't get in. I am such a firm believer that everything happens for a reason um, and I fully believe that, you know, my journey here is the reason like everything has happened lining up to this moment. Oh my God, that's so cheesy and dramatic. <laughs> when I had, had all my auditions and knew that I hadn't got anywhere, I started applying for foundation courses. Um, I applied to uh, PPA in Guildford, I applied to Oxford School of Drama, and I applied to Guildford School of Acting. I was offered a place at all of those schools on their foundation courses, um, and I decided to go with Guildford School of Acting. It had a really great reputation, I knew that the course um, had a few links with Hurtwood and it was very recommended by my teachers. So that September I started at GSA, and Oh my god, it was a shock to the system. It was so intense. And I learnt so much on that year. Um, and the main focus of the course was to prepare you to get into a three-year course at a drama school. I made reserve lists, but I didn't get off at any places. So I also applied for universities. Um, because I knew I wanted to get a degree, and I knew I wanted that experience and that qualification. Um, so I ended up going to Exeter University where I studied drama. While I was at uni I joined the local amateur dramatic society rather than my university society um, and I did two shows a year with them. I did uh, Me and My Girl playing a young boy again. Um, I did uh, the 110th anniversary of the society. We did a big like compilation show for that. I did Sister Act, finally playing an adult. Um, I did Fiddler on the Roof, which was one of my favourite experiences ever. And then I did Legally Blonde, which was another amazing experience that I honestly would love to repeat as well. Whilst I was in my final year of university, I applied for master's courses in musical theatre. I applied to, um, to a few schools and I got offered a place at Central. 
um, which I actually chose to decline that year. Um, I didn't feel ready. I was honestly just still very much like in the headspace that I've been in education my entire life and I want to know something else. I had always wanted to be an actor. I had only ever done drama and acting. I hadn't ever thought about having another career. So I thought, I'm not ready. I'm gonna take a few years, try something else and see if I still am pulled back to acting. And I worked for 18 months um, as a community fundraiser um, for a charity. And, you know, I really enjoyed it. I really did. I would not change any of that. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't have taken that place two years ago if, if I could go back in time. Um, because during those two years, I realised completely that I want to perform, that I want to be involved in the acting industry somehow, doing doing shows, in particular musicals. So 2017 comes along. Yeah, 2017 comes along and I start sending in my applications for entry in 2000 and September 2018. Um, I applied for more schools this time. I wanted to just go to as many auditions as I could and really sort of get a feel for the schools. Um, I applied to Central again and I got offered a place and I took it and here I am, week 10 um, of the course, probably week 11 by the time you're watching this. I actually don't know when I'm going to post this video, it could be in 2019, who knows. Um, but yeah, I am honestly so happy. I feel that this is the right time for me to be on the course and um, I am so much more ready to throw myself into everything and not give a shit about being judged or getting things wrong and getting things right and being perfect because nobody is perfect and I think the sort of few years I've spent out of of drama and acting has shown me so much how immature I was when I did first apply and how thank god that I am here now at this point in my life. So I think my advice if you're applying for drama schools is don't beat yourself up if you don't get in first time round and don't beat yourself up if it's taking you a few years um, because honestly those few years out has made me appreciate it so much more and made me so much more ready as cheesy as it sounds like I completely believe that that happened for a reason because I'm meant to be here at this point with this like cohort with my classmates um, and the teachers that are there now, like, I really do, you know, believe that my journey to here has happened for a reason, and I've learned from it, and, yo, here I am. <laughs> so sorry for the super chatty, spontaneous word vomit video. Um, I hope that it was kind of useful, and, I don't know, if you are in the process of applying for drama school, you'll, I don't know, have learned something from it, I hope. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe to see all my future content. I've filmed a fair few videos um, in this little chunk of time. Um, so there'll be some videos coming your way every Tuesday for the next foreseeable future. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>